Okay, good morning, everybody. This is Stephen, and it is Tuesday, and today we're going to do an art lesson, and today we're focusing on a concept called process art, and we're looking at the artist Jackson Pollock today. Question, what are we going to do with process art and Jackson Pollock? Well, our projects simply are easy, five little steps here. We do them from home, and we can use household materials. They're flexible for kindergarten through 12th grade, and we adjust them for our age range. They cover all academic subjects, and they ask a question. You get to ask yourself a question. What's interesting to me, and what am I curious about? And these are designed for children with special needs, and they're also parent-friendly. Jackson Pollock, a little bit about Jackson Pollock. He was born in Wyoming, and he lived his life in New York. He had a very hard life at times. His father abandoned his family. He struggled with substance abuse, and he had very difficult times throughout his career. He focused on abstract expressionism, which is the title of his art, and it was called process art. Now, process art is where you focus on the creative process more than you actually focus on the end product. And he created what's called the drip technique. And Jackson Pollock was a very successful artist. Here is an example of one of his works that uses the drip technique. Now, specifically what Jackson Pollock worked on was the actual process of art, creating art itself. So he would measure his strokes. In his drip technique, he would take out his, his, his uh, paintbrush and he would flip the paint. And he would count how many flips he did to put paint onto the canvas. So he wasn't focused on you know, creating an image like a lake or a human being or a piece of food, he was actually thinking about the process of creating art, like what type of paint do I get to use? What type of canvas am I using? How my body is interacting while I make art? That's why he called it process art, and his images came out abstract. So here's some project ideas we can look at for Jackson Pollock. We can research Wyoming, one of the states that he was born in. Uh, where is it located? And how much does it cost to fly there? We can make some process art out of some household products. We can read a biography of Jackson Pollock and have the website there. And uh, for science, Jackson Pollock paid close attention to how he did his art, also his moods and his emotions. So you can read about the connection between art and you can read about the connection between art and science and also your mood and how it influences your creative process. Finally, there's a math connection. You can calculate exactly how many paint strokes you use or keystrokes you use to type or even how many times you draw something and use math for that and make math questions and math problems. So here's what I did. I did a little progress, a little process art. So I didn't have any paint at home, but I took some markers and I focused on the process of making the artwork there on the left. So what I did is I just simply said, I'm going to get to make something. And I pulled out my markers and I sat there and I thought about what colors do I get to choose? And I would say, I get to use the color purple and I get to use the color red and I get to use the color blue. And I just thought about those things. And then I just sketched freehand. And as I was drawing, I just simply said, I get to create something. I get to create something. I'm in a process of creating. And that's what process is. It is thinking about the process of being creative but not necessarily worrying about what you're going to produce at the end. So I want you to go out today and create, work on some process art, learn about Jackson Pollock, and we will see you again tomorrow.